Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be just talking about language at home. When I was younger, I was very unhappy with my manager. He did the wrong thing on the pitch. He was negative and very hard on us as players. But that was just my opinion. At home, my parents had a positive attitude. They were always talking to me about the time that the manager spent organising and working with us. I understood from a young age that he was doing his best because that was the way we lived at home. I realised that the right support was coming from my own family and that I was able to be in charge of my own improvement. With this environment and language at home, I understood, I understand now how much language can impact a child's experience. Not only with your child, but around your child and about your child. There are three different aspects here. Number one, most of us now understand that positive language makes a big difference in the human mind. It is said that children are like sponges and absorb every word. Therefore, it is extremely important that we use the right language around them. I'm not saying that we should be unrealistic with them. Definitely give them the right, real feedback. In school, they do many things to give instructions in a positive way. For example, maybe we could say, wow, you were brilliant today, really all over the pitch, working hard. Well done. You put in great effort. You worked so well with the other players. You made a few brilliant passes. Maybe next week, we might be able to work on your block. With this type of feedback, you are focusing on their efforts and giving them a chance to practice a specific skill with you during the week. Try using goals to motivate them. For example, next game, let's try and make one block. This, With this, they are not only thinking about the score and other skills that they, but they can come home with a positive attitude because they've achieved their goal and that new skill after working hard during the week with you. The second thing is we have to think about any conversation you have about the child or their team. Possibly you're on the phone or in the schoolyard with the other parents. Ah, sure, the manager has no idea. Or have you seen the referee? Was he even watching the same game? The children think about this and it changes their attitude towards their own team and maybe the respect they had for the manager or referee. Whatever we are saying at home makes a big difference in their opinions. We understand that it is difficult to be positive all the time. But the managers and everyone who have been helping out do their best for all their players. And we are trying to show this to all the players and children. We have to be role models for young players with our language and our behaviour. The third one and the last one I think that most people forget about is the language we use about our children and the players. Again, you are out in the schoolyard with other parents and they ask you about the club and your child. You say something flippant like, ah, should they try their best, but we'll see. Maybe it'll come to them one day. What does that do to the child's confidence? They are out two or three times a week and are happy about their own skill. And then they hear that you are not sure about it. It is extremely important that we put the same emphasis on their efforts as the club's efforts at home and out in the community. The last thing I want to say is that they are really smart kids. Be open with them. Ask them about their thoughts after the game. They will know themselves how they play. And to tell the truth, most players are often very, very negative about their own game and skill. At the end of the day, we want to have a positive and open relationship with the players and your child. To end it, always think about what you're saying to your child, about your child, and around your child. Always remember that they are a big sponge. Thanks so much for listening.